guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Undead Unlux. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No, that must have fucking hurt, cause... <laughs> Because his numbers went back up as well. I mean, damn, I, you know what? I'm never going to be thinking about, like, or really looking at getting hit with a damn staff or a stick the same way again, because he is going in on him. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, oh, that old lady laying the ground with a cane. <laughs> Oh, you ain't going in. Oh, my God. <laughs> What, like, you know, where his heart is or something? God damn, he is. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Poor baby. I mean, I would be embarrassed too. <laughs> oh God. You're right. But of course he wants that though. Know about this? Yeah, I mean, cause he wanted to do that, though. Damn. Oh, <laughs> you had to make him black hair now? Stop. I have weakness. Weakness. Oh, my God. Sir, 
Sir, sir, I'm having a breakdown. I cannot. I'm not okay. <laughs> Boys and big girl, and be strong. You've done so well. But that's good. Mm hmm Well, body parts. No, just hold the whole thing, right? The whole thing. You just didn't want to show us what else is happening up there. Okay. Hey, you better not be throwing up. Well, he should be okay, right? No, okay, no. Because he's black hair, he's even more dangerous. It's Saturday. Oh, go run away. Seriously? I mean, because we know it would have worked, but because he's a god, it's different?
I mean, well, yeah, but... Yeah, you don't want that, right? Right? Hold up, and let me just say something. Shen, how the fuck you get back up after the shit he just... <laughs> the brutal beating he just did on your ass, like... <laughs> First, get had to call everybody else. One character he voices in that one, um, Shonen series, the science series, uh, Dr. Stone, he's giving hella feels to that character right now, like, bro. <laughs> What do I feel like we're about to have cliffhanger in a couple of seconds? I just opened my big fat mouth because there it is. I, I'm, you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. The cliffhanger is good, but uh, okay. He's seriously acting like his character in Dr. Stone. Even though I have not watched Dr. Stone, 
Um, and it really didn't interest me in such, even now, even though, like, the character that he plays on that show was so good looking, and I'm just like, I can't. I'm like, oh my god, might have to watch it for him. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he was also kind of giving feels towards to Grey a little bit, because, duh. But, he too OP right now, I mean, because he's a god, and it's like, how the fuck do you kill a god-like fucking character? And I get it, like, only using him, because at first I was like, so yeah, how the hell are you going to defeat Spoil? And, and it's just like, oh, hey, I got to use my god card, so, you know, hey, when this happens, one, two things. Protect Fuka, Fuka, pre protect her, and then call everybody else in, because all y'all bitches need to work together to defeat my ass, which is the smartest thing because at first I was thinking Shen got this because I, I was guessing like we're just only going to have a full episode of a showcase of Shen. That's it. But the fact is that we got to have a little more showcase of everybody else and then homegirl aka the leader is about to go against him. She about to be his ass next week and honestly I am here for it and I cannot wait to see it. Hopefully. That's all I'll say about that. Maybe he might get his ass beat next week. And then, no, let's also talk about that. I, like, okay, at the moment when, quote-unquote, Thor threatened Fu immediately I'm thinking, okay, she's now had her life threatened by the other half of what, you know, your trump cards, per se, and such. You telling me you ain't gonna wake the fuck up about that because of the fact is, yes, you don't want her dying before you because she has so many things that she wants to do. She, of course, she wants to fall in love with everybody. You just really want to have sex with her at the end of the day. But you still care about her as a person. You're not treating, well... As a woman, you're not treating her as, like, a thing and such. You're treating her as a fucking person. But you still wouldn't wake the fuck up even when her life isn't threatened. Even when he was like, oh, hey, I'm really close to, like, almost killing her. You don't want to wake the fuck up. I thought that was a little messed up. But I'm guessing it's because when, quote-unquote, Thor comes in, it's a little... he He's too overpowering. And, of course, Andy can't, like, hold him for a certain amount of time until he completely takes over. And so I'm guessing inside of his mind right now, like, there's, like, a mental battle where he's, like, trying his hardest to get back into, per se, like, in control and such. But because of the fact is he can't, that's also why he told Shen, yeah, round up everybody, do some Avengers type ish, bring in everybody to kick my ass and to get me back into normal and for me to be sane once again. But who knows if we're gonna even get a if we're gonna get sane Andy next week. Any way, shape or form, who fucking knows? <laughs> um, I'm also glad that the kids are going to be like under watch, even though yet yeah, the best thing for their safety was to let them go on ahead. But Excuse me. Um, at the same time, I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, why couldn't they just stay underground? Because Spoil was already defeated. You just He's already done. Thor is now the issue. They could have stayed underground until, you know, the rest of the, you know, out of the ten figured out the situation, defeated Thor, and then moved on and put the kids on a new protection placehold or um, orphanage. But who knows? Maybe we'll get those answers next week. Maybe we won't. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode eight of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or Saturday for episode nine. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.